Hmm. Oh, speaking of fixing everything. <laughs> Let's hear it. What you got? Anything? <laughs> Maybe. Can you please fix this episode? Yeah, I need to. We just need to start over. Um, there's some new photos of bl- I believe the community is calling it Bluezilla. Um, <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, it was so cute, so tiny. Sorry, the mouse is back. <laughs> Okay. Someone anyway, please make a little plush a doll pet. for Tim here. Yeah. 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 Um, I just hope it doesn't like run across my feet. That'd just be kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep to yourself, buddy guy, and you'll be fine. Let's give okay, it a name, everyone. People in Discord, what should we name Ooh, Tim's yeah. studio yeah. mouse? Yeah. What's the studio mouse name? Don't studio say mouse. Stu Stu Studio Mouse. Stewie. Okay, anyway, um, I'll, I'll keep working on this. I, I'm excited to see all your, your ideas. But anyway, they're working on the high bay out of Boca Chica, and that's going to be the bay that is tall enough to build the super heavy booster. So it's going to be something like 80 or 90 meters tall. If I remember right, I think it was like 82 meters tall, which is what, about 270, 280 feet tall. Like This will be huge, a really big building, you know, about two-thirds the size of the uh, the vehicle assembly building. Um and uh, they're building it <laughs> really quick. So, yes, yeah, so they have this this giant crane named Bluezilla, and they basically prefabricated all of these uh, these sections. And remember, this is this is going to be huge. This thing is going to be something like 80 or 90 meters tall, so like 250 or 300 feet tall. Like This is almost as big, about two-thirds the size of the vehicle assembly building at NASA. Um, and they need to have this built before they begin building the Super Heavy Booster. And the Super Heavy Booster will be freaking huge. Um, yeah, this is just going to be kind of, kind of nuts altogether. Um, but they're just building this in such a fast, fast pace. And here's, um, here's pictures too, from RGV aerial photography showing how big the blue Zilla crane is. And they need a crane this big in order to, you know, build a, a building that, that tall, obviously, but it'll be, it'll be going up in a hurry. Um, so like basically every week <laughs> I'll probably just have to do an update on how tall the, the high bay is now, because I wouldn't be surprised if this is done. Um, in a, like a couple weeks, you know, um, knowing how fast they're, they're doing this, but <laughs> just crazy this, I, I can't wait to make it back down there to Boca Chica. Cause I feel like it'll be a completely different place, uh, now than it was, uh, you yeah. know, when I was down there earlier. So, so yeah. are they going to have to build like a custom crane or something to actually get the super heavy or the the starship on top of the super heavy like that that blue crane can't do it they're gonna have to build something else right i think so i mean they might have to rent uh for a little while until they get something an even bigger crane like a yeah. full-blown skyscraper crane you know like those ones that stack themselves like a more permanent style one i know i'm, I'm saying something very obvious because of course they're gonna have to build something to do that <laughs> but like i'm i'm seeing i'm seeing the the, the 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 blue zilla in the pictures and everything and it's just so tall but it, even that is like nowhere near big enough to do that and i'm just yeah. kind of sitting here like they're gonna have to really build a, a thing well don't forget the the old I feel like videos I'm the most obvious thing in the well, world. well no no because the old but, you're right the old videos would show um you know the actual launch pad and all that stuff had a crane built into it um mm -hmm. and my internet's gonna be a little bit slow here because I, I think i like totally lost internet but um if I go to SpaceX, uh, BF, it was like the BFR um, showed this, I think. Let me let me see if I'm right. I think I know what you're talking about. Where they actually show it like turning around and, and, and grabbing the next booster. Yeah, here we go. So this, is, this has been in the works for, you know, or always kind of part of the plan is like, we're going to have to build one of the world's largest cranes in doing this, <laughs> you know, in order to yeah. build a rocket like this. You know, the, the booster lands um, like this. And then the idea being you have a fueled up, ready to go uh, starship or maybe not fueled. Maybe they, they, they probably wouldn't lift it fueled because now you're going to increase its weight like infinitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they pick up the the tanker uh, or the, you know, the upper stage, basically you put it on top. And then don't forget the, the plan of starship is to actually fuel up the upper stage through the booster, too. So that makes mm -hmm. sense. Um, but yeah, so, so the launch pad and even the, the newer video that they shared. Um, uh, this year, let's see, where's the official Starship launch animation? I think this is the newer one. Um, Careful. this also shows the crane. You should make that screen some way smaller. Make this screen way smaller? Yeah, otherwise we'll get another copyright claim. Oh, good call. Well, uh, SpaceX okay. doesn't do copyright claims on, on their mm -hmm. stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm, this will sure be their don't. first. <laughs> but, uh, but this is this is what they're showing, you know, for the the eventual launch pad, even at Boca Chica, has that giant crane too. Um, yeah. So yes, the part I don't get about it is how it has a telescoping arm that's yeah. not out. That doesn't make sense to me. You said it right there, though, in the words telescoping. You can, you but, can do that. Uh, yeah, but to hold something that big and that high up, I don't. And I don't yeah, know. well, I'm sure the final It'd engineered be crazy to version. See that's, well, yeah. yeah, it'll look quite different. I'm sure. I'm sure the artist rendering and what the actual engineering of it will will be quite different at the end of the day. You know. Yeah. So there you go. I was that's... thinking, why why don't you just why don't you just backpack it to a Falcon Heavy and shoot the Falcon Heavy up and then have it come down and land on top of the other one. Right, or just or just land, just do a vertical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy, nice and that's nice gonna and that's easy. that's probably like SN8. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna just stack them on top of each other. Done. Um, that'll be that test. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you, and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com/yt. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.